Folks, it is Vile Mike here, and so far I got Elihu, my fellow Californian. How you doing, man? Um, in 34 minutes, I gotta go downstairs to finish my laundry. Oh, but I I wake <laughs> I, I wake a bit today. Yeah, I did not even realize until you said something earlier that it was uh, 420 day. Oh. <laughs> uh. But uh, one of the things, let me put that down just a little bit so I'm not uh, at the bottom of the screen. Uh, that uh, today is also uh, 25 years for Columbine. And I told the LI I'd tell him a little bit of a story uh, about Columbine. Uh, after my school shooting, because my school shooting was, I think, a little less than a year yeah, a little less than a year after Columbine, that Columbine school and all their, you know, they're sent on my school this big banner saying, you know, you know, basically that uh, we know what you're going through, we feel for you, and we'll be there if you need to. And it was really sweet. And, like, almost all the student body signed it for us. It was a really touching thing for when we were going through something similar. Granted, theirs was worse, but you know what I mean. And uh, I was eating a donut. It, sorry, what? Sorry, I was eating a donut. Oh, you were eating a donut. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wake and bake this morning. Went to the pastry shop. Got my uh, pre-order for the uh, dispensary. <laughs> Doing laundry. You had a busy morning. I, I woke today, up, um, threw on some clothes, and got coffee. And then I tried to start the stream. Did a successful run on GTA 5 online. <sighs> yeah, I, I haven't played GTA 5 in forever. Yeah, I did a uh, motorcycle club mission and a quick mission, and I made 150000 like sweet double double cast double RP today, <laughs> and because it, this is a new computer, I bought this computer actually last week, but I couldn't stream because uh, I had stuff. I had certain things I was doing on uh, that Saturday and Sunday, so so it's not to blame me. Okay. No, I, I didn't say it was your fault. I just said we could blame you if you wanted to, if you wanted to, because it's you. I'm not a sheep. And let me. Sorry, I'm going to my own. I haven't signed into YouTube yet on this new computer, so I'm going to my channel on my phone, my new phone, so I can pin the damn comment, so people can. Join the stream if they want. We don't have anyone watching, apparently, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, I'll retweet it since I can't cross stream. I'm going to retweet real fast. Let me, uh, hmm. Uh, yeah, I'd rather do it with my phone than my computer. <laughs> A lot easier. Uh, where are you? Here it is. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about allowing me to, because I don't think, with, since I'm not paying for it anymore, you can, but I'm. Oh, 
Oops, excuse me. Yeah, no, I can't do anything about it. So it's it's either on your end or something else. Yeah, or it's because I'm not paying for it anymore. How can we can't that's odd, you can't sign in. Huh. Ah shit. Damn it, wasn't a timer. Okay, half hour time, go downstairs again. And anybody in the San Francisco Bay Area, Golden Gate Park is not having an official 420 celebration today. There is no park and rec. There is no garbage cleanup. There is no porta potties. But people are still going to gather as usual. Oh, and Mrs. Vile got me a new travel mug. Do yeah. <laughs> you think it's big enough? Uh, it's too small. You need a 64-ounce coffee cup, man. Not a 32. Well, I have tried to fill this up with coffee before. The big gulp. I was going to say that. <laughs> and, and they get mad. That's why you put two cups in one. So And you go, hey, here's my coffee. You pay for two cups. Well, plus these things aren't really made for hot beverages. And yeah. they like deform with the temperature of the coffee, so it's not even a good idea. Yeah, like those red solo cups. You do not want to put hot beverage in those. So here's my question because because I got a new phone, I downloaded uh Tubi and Pluto and all the free TV apps because I'm not paying for anything right now. And I saw Gotham was on Tubi. Okay. Did you ever watch Gotham? Yes, I did. I liked that show. It was basically a uh, James Gordon perspective, not a Bruce Wayne. I liked it. Okay. When I when it first came out, uh, I was dating a girl, and we were watching it together. Okay. When we broke up, which was somewhere during the, I'd say the towards the end of the first season, I stopped watching it because I wasn't watching it with her anymore. So I had only seen the like the first two, two thirds, three fourths of the first season and had no real interest in watching the rest. But, you know, when I saw it on there and it's like, you know, watch the complete series. I was like, screw it. I'm going to watch, I'll watch it. And basically while I've been working so much, I was either listening to or watching the show while working. And that meant, basically meant I was able to watch like four to uh, five episodes a day uh, because only during certain tasks of my job was I watching it or listening to it. <laughs> so I'm not quite finished. I've got like three or four episodes left. I love it. And the I realized I don't like the show. I like the Penguin's origin story with Fish Mooney. Jada Pickett-Smith, his origin story was pretty good. Okay, I liked Fish Mooney. But to me, they burned through so many Batman arcs. Oh, yeah. That I was kind of like, this is Smallville all over again, and I don't like it. <laughs> I mean, I enjoyed Smallville when it first came out. But on a rewatch, I was just like, oh, my God. No, the Flash. Uh, I'm see guys worse. Superman already. This is ridiculous. The whole point of Smallville was before Superman. But no, well, here's my thing about Gotham. Gotham goes through a whole bunch of bad stuff during those five seasons. Batman's not there yet, and it shows that Batman really isn't needed <laughs> because the police are able to. Uh, accomplish everything that they need to do to save lives so you don't it basically gotham shows that batman isn't needed for the batman mythos <laughs> that's the w biggest crime you could ever have for a show like that yeah that was a good show i did like marina baccarin baccarin Well, apparently, uh, she and the guy that played Jim Gordon ended up having an affair and getting married and having kids later. 
I didn't know that. Didn't care about that. Yeah. Yeah, she was apparently married and or he was married, one of the two. I can't remember. And yeah, they uh started having sex while being co-stars and it led to her to or I think it was her divorce. I if, if, if I remember correctly. And yeah. Huh. Well, you know, today is also some celebrities' birthdays. If you say a certain one, I swear I will uh, be very mad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's Joey Lawrence's birthday. Don't get mad. Come on. I don't care about Joey. <laughs> you know which one I'm talking about. Okay, okay. I'll mention George Takai. And um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Bruce Campbell. Oh, no, not Bruce Campbell. That's his birthday. Um, uh, Valdez, uh, the guy who played Cisco on The Flash. Today's his birthday. Carlos Valdez. Uh, yeah, goes I by, think. Uh, by Los Vos on uh, Twitter. Yeah, I think uh, certain other DC shows did it much better. Flash. <clears throat> uh, Arrow, all the Arrowverse shows did it much better than Gotham and Smallville on a rewatch. Yeah, I like the Arrowverse. And of course, uh, Smallville is tainted by uh, the actress uh, who played Chloe, uh, Allison Mack. Yeah. Because of the whole NVIDIA thing. Yeah. Come on up, sci fi, if you want. <clears throat> Well, Smallville is now officially part of the Arrowverse, so hey. Well, to, if you want to argue that, then so is uh, the entire DCU. Because uh, Ezra Miller showed up. Yeah, they still haven't explained that part. <laughs> no, I think at this point, uh, because of the way DC is doing everything, Everything that they do is now connected in one way or another. Uh, and you could, let's see, if, and I think are, you can argue the same thing for uh, Marvel at this point. How you doing, Sci-Fi? <clears throat> hey, how you doing, Mike? Tired. I heard, I heard, old. Sorry, I heard rumors that Keanu Reeves is uh, trying to get a Constantine 2 in production. Well, that's what you get for hearing. I know. Hey. That's not a weed, dude. That's tobacco. What the hell's wrong with you? No, I said that's I what you're here. <clears throat> that ain't weed. If he wanted a weed, he'd have a fucking blunt in his mouth right now. Okay, so I'm smoking my pipe, hey. But I don't smoke weed because weed is one of the few drugs that actually hits me hard. Oh. Yeah. I, I can drink a shit ton. I can take a bunch of painkillers, but weed. If I were to smoke like a, even a single joint yeah, on this, yeah, I'd be giggling Mike, and crying. Like yeah, Mike, Mike, if you took weed, to be like, "Good night, son. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night." Yeah, I'm a lightweight with alcohol. Weed, I can smoke all day. See, <clears> I'm the opposite. I can have fucking alcohol all fucking day long and get. Fuck the fuck up. But as soon as I hit weed, it's time for bed. Fuck the dumb shit. Not me. Weed doesn't make me sleep oh, no. like that. Weed makes me emotional. <clears throat> oh, it don't make me that way. No, it just time makes me go to bed. Fuck the dumb shit. <laughs> it makes me go to bed. So basically, you turn into Matthew McConaughey. Hey, watch the floor mats. Watch, watch the floor, the floor mats. mats. <laughs> Dude, so fucking stoned. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Let's put it this way. Uh, weed affected me more than cocaine, and I only tried cocaine once. You know, I tried coke once. All that shit did was wake me the fuck up and made my fucking forehead numb. So, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. I prefer Pepsi. Got a whole shit ton of work done, though, didn't you? What's that, Mike? Uh, on cocaine, you get. It, I did it once. 
Yeah, I cleaned one. the entire place I worked at. No, I tell you what, I, I had a future cop give it to me, and I said, yep, nope, never again. And as soon as he left, I cleaned my house top to bottom. I said, yeah, never again. Fuck the dumb shit. <laughs> no, the reason I couldn't do it ever again was because of the fact that uh, I don't, I have a very sensitive nose. So the entire, you know, the entire time I'm. Oh, I did working, too. I mean, it made my nose bleed I, for fucking right to do. Yeah. Well, it didn't make my nose bleed, but it made me want to reach into my own nostril to scratch my brain. Yeah, that's why I had to clean my house. I'm like, ah, I got yeah. fucking yeah. So yeah. I, I and I, I was like, you know, after that, I just never bothered. With no, it again. I didn't either. No, I hate fucking coke. Fuck the dumb shit. That's why when I do weed, it, it's you know, there's uh, there's two types of weed, right? There's the wakey, 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 and wakey, bakey weed. And there's the good night, see you, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go type of weed. A Bodhi Yodo. And, it's and, called uh, Sativa and Indica. Yeah, right? So, yeah, my, my girl likes the night night weed. So, that's the type we have in our house. So. Yeah, I'm particular about mine. I prefer Indica over Sativa. Yeah, the Indica is a night night weed, right? And the Sativa is a wakey bakey. Yeah, body high, head high. Sativa, head high. Indica, body high. Uh, I, I don't remember. I, I haven't really smoked weed in like 20, or not 20. Uh, yeah, well, almost 20 Chip, years. This, this, I gotta say, this shit predates 20 years, Mike, so be careful what you say. Damn, it's been about 20 seconds for me. But, uh, no, I, I basically stopped all that stuff when I became a dad. Yeah, well... You know, I, I got a missus that's uh, dying from a genetic disease, so whatever she wants, she gets right. So. Yeah, I, I'm not. I don't begrudge anyone who wants to use it. Well, it's legal in the state I live in. So, hey, hooray for that! At least. Hey, even as a non-weed smoker, I was still pro, you know, legalization because I wanted the tax revenue. <laughs> right, she, she wanted to. Go, she wanted to go home to Pennsylvania. I'm like, do you know how many hoops you're gonna have to jump through just to get the fucking card to fucking get what you already have here? And she's like, no. I'm like, D I'm like, you have no idea. So she just decided to stay here because it's not even legal in her home state. So. Now, I like the fact that the dispensaries here offer military discount, vet discount, senior discounts, student discounts. You know what? I wish I could get free weed for all the PTSD I have for dealing with real life civilian life. Dude, today, uh, this is which one? For the, I know for this the one shit that I went through. I know this one dispensary. Uh, it's already in the mission district. I can't even fucking go, but I'm not a vet. They got like 80, 90% off for vet special today's. Um, no, I'm not even a vet, but I got PTSD oh. so bad it ain't even funny. Oh. I, I've been on street battles. I've been, you know, like I watched in court where the police came up to me and I said shit to them and I had like 10 minute conversations with the police and the fucking EMTs. I don't remember this. I had to I, I had to look at it on from a body cam in the courtroom. I didn't remember it because somebody fucked me up that bad mm. after I closed up my store. That's how bad my PTSD is. So yeah, my PTSD is at the point to where I'm like the literal gangster. I will put myself my back to the wall to where I can see everybody coming in right now. Oh, I, I, I've always been kind of like that when it comes to like when I take my kids out to dinner. I don't like sitting with my back to the front door. No, I don't. I won't. I, I refuse to have my back exposed. I refuse. Personal preference. I don't care either way. No, see, that's the thing. I never used to care, but now that it's thing. It's yeah, that's what I said. Personal preference. Well, no. for me, it's because of too many idiots out there with guns. Uh, 
you know, I've had people, you know, pull a gun on me twice, uh, you know, school shooting, shot twice, three of you include rock salt. Oh, here, here's the thing. I've, so, I've, I've had guns my whole fucking life, but I've never pulled one on nobody. Yeah, but the problem is nowadays people are doing that with alarming frequency. Uh, yeah. I was literally telling people the story from last, uh, uh, or not last, uh, 4th of July a couple of years ago. When some idiot was, you know, had a gun on him, a firework went off on the 4th of July, he got freaked out and shot the car next to mine. Yeah, because well, they didn't have fucking um, gun courses. Like, we used to have, okay, like, when I was in 7th grade, right, we used to take gun safety courses for the Michigan DNR. And we had to take them, right, before we could go hunting and get our hunting licenses. Or at least our permits, right? To, to go out with our daddy or whoever, an adult. And and the thing is, I, I don't know if like a hunting course would be good, good for these kids, but who the fuck gives fucking assault rifles to teenagers? That's what I want to fucking Teenagers should not have guns. I mean, last night there was about 600 kids who were no, doing no. a skip day in Maryland. Oh, I do. I, and, and somebody I do opened fire in the crowd. That. Hold on, I do disagree with that. Gun safety should be taught to your kids as young as possible so they learn to grow up respecting it and not doing stupid shit with it. Exactly. The problem is people are literally buying guns for their kids and giving them no training whatsoever. And the thing is, the people selling the guns don't even give them courses. Yeah, the people selling the guns are just happy they made the sale. Hey, I made money. How you doing? And and then the gun companies are like, well, there's idiots armed with guns now. You should buy one for yourself, too. Because <laughs> the only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. Uh, yeah, fuck because, yeah, right. yeah, because fuck that kid's mental health. That ain't got nothing to do with nothing, does it? Hey, I get I got an uh, F, F minus from NRA. They're going to rate me? They can give me an F minus. Fuck the NRA. Fuck the NRA. Yeah, fuck the NRA. I got twelve minutes. You know what? One, one of the funnier Take your things. Twelve funnier minutes. Things. Do the best you can do in your twelve minutes. All I'm gonna say about the NRA is this: if you think you got to lobby Congress to get your fucking guns out there, go right the fuck ahead. But you know what? You're a dumbass motherfucker. Because every American out here, I don't care what side of the aisle you're on, will tell you the same fucking thing. If that kid ain't ready, don't give him a fucking gun. <laughs> no, that's how I got shot in the foot, was because they gave uh, a freaking hey, six-year-old a uh, forty-four Magnum. A parent should not uh, certify their own child, say, okay, you're, you're okay for gun safety. Oh, no, a parent should not do that. You know what? Good for you. Good for person. you. Good for you putting on a parent. What about on the fucking gun lobbyists that you're I'm, I'm supporting right now? Well, I'm saying no, that a it parent should, be, should not It should be like getting your... It, it, I'll lie to you. As far as I'm concerned, it should be like getting your driver's license. Yeah, certified by Wait, a professional. certain age for the most part, but you can teach your kid all about cars before they get their permit. Yeah, yeah, but how many parents actually teach their kids about cars before they get behind the wheel and take a fucking driver's ed course? Not ninety <laughs> percent. No, not tried, maybe in maybe in the nineties, so maybe in the nineties, but not no more. In Lahu, you mean parents don't get, teach their kids how to drive anymore, or there's no such thing as a student ed, a student driver? Not no more. School? No, I see so many kids out there that are so fucking dumb when it comes to fucking behind the wheel. It ain't funny. I see so many adults who are dumb when it comes to behind the wheel as well. You know well, what? So. Fuck the adults. Look at the kids. <laughs> I see these adults, same adults, are training the same kids. The kids are dumb. The parents are stupid. <laughs> Pay attention. Well, let's go to a happier note. Uh, yeah, uh, my... Uh, middle daughter decided to join her school's volleyball team and they had their first games this week i like watching girls volleyball but i won't watch her daughter well th this was more like 
kids pretending to play volleyball. They were really bad at it, including my daughter, which I told her, and she was like, how can you say that to one of your kids? And I'm like, sweetheart, I'm not going to candy coat it for you. You suck. You, uh, <laughs> you need to practice. So I bought a volleyball, and we went to the park yesterday, and we practiced for about half an I, hour. I, I meant uh, college volleyball, by the way. I, I, I know what you meant, but these are uh, middle schoolers. Yeah, no, I ain't going to watch it. No. My, my boy is in middle school for fuck's sake. Yeah, it's, come on. But, uh, yeah, it was just not like the kids weren't moving their feet. They were afraid of the ball. Oh, my crazy. God. It's going to hit me in the face. Move, bitch. And, yeah, so we spent time yesterday uh, after oh. I picked him up from school playing in the park. And it was it was fun. I was going to make a joke, but I forgot. You're talking about your kid. Never mind. Hey, hey <laughs> did you ever see a female wearing a cup? Actually, yes, uh, I yes. have. Yes. It, it hurts the same as it does a man. Trust me. I have sisters. <laughs> <laughs> they tell me it hurts the same as it does a man. <laughs> I tell you what, the only time I seen a woman get her fucking cunt hurt is when my sister fell off a fucking boy's bike. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I didn't know they could get hurt that way until I seen it. I'm sorry. I didn't care if I if I was getting made fun of. I rode my sister's bike because it wasn't peak anyway. It had that long bar, not straight across. My friend's like, "Why are you riding your sister's bike?" I'm like, "You try hitting a bump and falling off your seat." Wait, 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 Elihu. You rode a female bike. You yes. had nothing, you had nothing to fucking hit your nuts on. I I I did not want to hit my nuts on a bike. No, my friends made fun of me. I was like, "Yeah, no, you try I'm talking a bump. about I'm talking about my female sister." Riding a guy's bike that's Ooh. like two to four inches taller than her, and she fucking split her shit right down the middle, yo. Ow. That no, kind of pain is what I'm talking when, about. When I was a kid, uh my uh dad and step or my stepmom and I'm sorry, my stepdad and my mom played on a uh inter work uh like softball league thing. And I remember I wasn't playing, paying attention to the game too much because, you know, I didn't care about adults playing what I thought was. Yeah, you know, who gives a them. fuck what the adults do? Well, Let's go have fun, bro. But I know they had to pause play at one time because a woman was up to bat and the pitcher hit her right in the crotch with a uh, softball. Oh, shit. Like, yeah, same thing. Same thing like, as a girl going down on a fucking guy's bike. Yes, yeah, same fucking thing. Like, I, I just remember, you know, people were saying like, pain. Well, yes. women need to wear cups too. Yes. <laughs> That's what you don't understand. Women can get hurt just as much as guys can if you kick them between the legs. Don't think they can't. Especially if you hit the clit. Well, you got to have a hard time finding that. So you yeah. know what? I wear steel toes on a daily basis. So fuck the dumb shit. Good luck finding it. <laughs> I'm gonna find something with my foot either way. <laughs> I think he missed the joke, dude. All right, uh, I have not watched it yet, so do not give me any spoilers. But have either one of you watched the new Fallout show yet? Nope. Yes, I have. I have never played the game, but I've loved this, and I'm oh, glad I love the first. game, but I have not seen the show. I'm glad I got ready for season two. So you got you got you got us both ways there, Mike. Uh he's seen the shows. I played the games. Uh so I can tell you I can tell you this. Hold on, hold on, everyone be quiet. Hello world, it's Bird O Prey Five. Kapla Bird. How you doing? Sorry, I just want to say got into the mess of Fallout middle of all I heard it was Oh bird. I don't even want to repeat what I just heard. <laughs> no. Well, hey, that's probably a good thing. But did you watch the follow show? Uh I watched one episode. I've never played the game. 
Oh, I played all the games. I love those games. The TV, played... show, the TV show takes place after uh, Fallout 4 video yeah, game. Yeah, you know what? Fuck series. that TV show. Anyway, all right, well, hold on. Let's, let's put it this way. I have played Fallout 1, 2, 3, 4, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout Tactics, and Fallout Brotherhood of Steel on the Xbox. Uh, but same I haven't watched the show yet. Same here, Mike. <laughs> I, I'll be back. I got to go to do my laundry. Of course, the worst game of the series is the Fallout Brotherhood of Steel game on the Xbox because it was just... Yeah, that was just fucking yeah. janky. Uh, fall, I, I actually liked Fallout Tactics. I just don't like what they did to Super Mutants and uh, well, rules no. and stuff. See, what they did with Tactics was they tried to make it like... Um, <laughs> oh, there's another game. They tried to make it like a medieval game. Well, they tried to they, they turned it into a tactics game. That was the that was yeah, part of the problem. That, that, a whole team of people. That's the whole thing. Anytime you try to make something into tactics, it fucking fails spectacularly. So. Uh, but it's like uh, you know, Fallout One and Two. Yeah, you had your companions, but we all know that the companions had issues with certain. You know, they would waste ammunition. They would shoot you. If yeah. you were in the way, and then you give yeah. them, like, someone an entire team, and then you get yeah, down. you end up getting shot by yeah. your own guys more and then, often, and then, than then you, you try to do everything that you do in, in the um, RPG, and the shit don't work, and you get your ass handed to you, and you're like, "What the fuck is this shit?" So yeah, no, it just didn't fucking work. So because yeah, this tactic shit you had to work with, which doesn't work in any fucking um, tactic game based off an RPG. I don't know. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics was fun, but of course, that's uh, game uh, uh, it's debatable. And the XCOM games, uh, when they do the tactics stuff, is fun. Well, of course, XCOM, I think they were, they were designed to be a, XCOM a tactics worked game. better just because of the way the game works. So. But uh, I'm waiting until I can binge the whole show before I watch Fallout because I do like the Fallout series. Uh, you know, that's it's like probably one of, it's up there with like Legend of Zelda uh, and Super Mario and Pokemon and some of my favorite franchises. That's like saying I'm going to wait to watch Game of Thrones until the book comes out, which you know, <laughs> the book came out, then the game and then the TV series. So really, what the fuck are you waiting for? Sounds like. Really? Um, but yeah. But I'm, I'm hoping this new laptop will let me run Fallout 4 because I uh, never played the uh, d uh, DLCs. I've, I've, for, uh, I've had 4. it on Xbox One for years. I wish you would have said something. No, well, you know what's funny? Uh, I haven't owned an Xbox One in a very long time because someone stole it from me. Uh, oh, I've, not, I, I've had an extra one in my closet for like three fucking years that I haven't even brought out yet. I'm just... I'm waiting for my original Battlefield 5 gray one to die, and it hasn't. And I bought it back in 2017. So. No, I've sold Xbox Ones without, you know, playing most of the things on there. But I've got, like, I've got Fallout 4 for uh, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and the computer. And I just don't have time to play everything, especially the last few weeks. I know. You're I mean, too I've had busy. like three you're days off busy. in the last four weeks. You're too busy putting Pepsi products on display. So, yeah, no, we get it. Oh, hold on a second. <laughs> that should work for a little bit. Oh. Fuck, is it really half an hour so before noon? Holy fuck, it is half an hour before noon. I, get to it. I don't know what you're talking about. I got three and a half hours before noon. <laughs> well, that's what you get for being a California. I, 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 what can I say? We got the best weather, though. You know what? I can't argue with that. Although, you do. if you does. ask my kids, they would definitely disagree because at at 69 degrees yesterday, they complained it was both too hot and too cold. You know what? You know, all I can say is when it gets 70 outside, I put the air conditioner in my apartment here in Michigan because they got the heat on downstairs 
in the business. So I got to have an air conditioner when it's 70 outside. That's so when it's 70 outside, it's 90 up here because the little pukes downstairs with their, um, Oh, I can't handle myself. It, it, it's a fucking, what do you call it downstairs? One of those therapy places. They got to keep it like regulated and shit. No, fuck it. It used to be a bank office before that. And at least they were consistent when they kept the heat on. But now that it's a therapy place, it's like so hot I can't even stand the shit, even when it's 60 outside. And like, if I want therapy, I'll just fucking yell out the window. Fuck the dumb shit. Well, that, that's what the the CNA stream is. It, it's my therapy. It's where I vent. Yeah, and then I got all the college kids because we got like five bars in a two block radius, right? So <laughs> I love living downtown. So I can just go down to my downstairs door and be like, yep, okay. Time to play with some people. Yeah, well, I have a dispensary four blocks in one direction, four blocks in another direction, hey, four and a half blocks in another direction. Is that all? I got five bars but ten dispensaries. Welcome to Michigan, bitch. Hey, these are four blocks walking distance, okay? Exactly. The rest so are mine, you think? <laughs> I, 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 I live in California. We can have that shit delivered. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to pay somebody to deliver a half a block no, away. same price as the dispensaries. You can have it delivered. But I get mine from a friend of mine that grows his shit in fish guts out in the middle of a fucking field like it's been doing before it got legalized. So fuck the dumb shit. And it's better than anything from a dispensary. So fuck the dumb shit. Well, the thing about California dispensary is I'm not sure if it's regulated everywhere else in the other state, but we know exactly how much THC and CBD and T you know and TNDC we're care. getting. That don't matter. All I care is do actually, I got buy? Yes. Actually, my did, friend actually, again, guy, sci-fi, yes. Sci-fi, I'm buy sci-fi, sci-fi, it did matter because there were people who got $20 edibles. a gram. Let, let, let me explain this for a second, okay? It does matter because there were people who were getting edibles. <laughs> Who cannot smoke, okay? Because they have level infections. Let me let me finish. Let me finish talking, dude. There were people who had medical problems who could not smoke, so they had to turn to edibles. <laughs> they were getting this at the dispensary. One You're cookie was one, one cookie was five milligrams. Another was thirty milligrams. I, I just find it funny it that mattered. Arguing. It mattered, man. A lie who gets serious about his weed. He yes, is. I am. Oh my. Fuck, I got a girl that can't take nothing except through a fucking feeding tube. And you're talking to me about problems with people that can't fucking eat shit or smoke shit. Oh my fuck, dude. Are you serious right now? I, well, Elihu takes his uh, weed seriously like I take my coffee seriously. Hey, I cannot take pills, okay? So, I'm looking the shell act. I have to that's have why I argue with people. Like, I get CBD. the dark roast because it's got more caffeine. I'm like, no, dark you know roast what? doesn't have more I, caffeine. I already, dark roast have more caffeine. I already give one person fucking feeding through a belly tube. I don't want to do it to you too, but so. so Bert, how the hell are you? I'm surprised. Oh, 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 I'm surprised you don't cultivate your on your own. I'm not in my place. I have no ventilation, no no sunlight. I can't do it here. Otherwise, I would. He never heard of UV lights overhead. Hey, I live in a studio, okay? I have no fucking room to grow anything. He doesn't have enough outlets. Well, that too. Well, just don't even... Uh, you got a window, right? Yeah, no, one no, sun, window. None, no sunlight, dude. I, I, oh, I, when I was in high school, I literally grew pot plants on my windowsill. I'm going to say, I got two windows in my whole fucking dungeon here in my two bedroom apartment. Trust me, I grow my own shit and I'm allowed to legally. Trust me, you can do it, bro. You just got to want to do it.
So, Bird, you never asked, answered my question. Yeah, I did. Well, let's switch up the subject. Well, hold on. I'm going to switch up the uh, conversation. Bird, I haven't <laughs> talked to Bird in like a month. Bird, uh, how, what's new with you? Uh, not, not a whole lot. Pretty much the same only. Which is not great. Are you still streaming? Because I don't ever see notifications for your streams anymore. I stream Mondays and Fridays. Bed life. Yeah, I still stream Bed Life Mondays and Fridays. Like 4 p.m. Eastern, Monday and Friday. Um, and then occasionally during the week, once in a while, some other time. If you but, hit the bell notification, you'll see a surprise morning bird every once in a while. Yeah. He you should still well, be getting noticed. Well, I, I've hit the bell on a lot of people, and I don't get notifications for almost anything anymore. Huh. I mean, I always get the notification for the like this stream. Can't always make it, but I've been getting the notice. I know you. Uh, I mean, uh, the only reason, like, uh, Revan did a stream yesterday. The only reason I got the notification for that one is because I specifically went to it uh, on the link and I hit the notify me thing. But it's like I don't get notifications for anyone's anything anymore on YouTube, and well, I don't know the what the thing hell's wrong is, with YouTube. I don't. I don't uh, pre. Like I don't. Uh, Reset the bed life until like an hour or two before I'm going live. Like if I preset it a week out, then you would you would probably get notification. But I only since I only do it like with an hour or two, it's very few people get ever see it from me. You just have to kind of know that it's 4 p.m. and Monday or Friday. Eastern that I'm probably streaming. Sorry. No, the the way my work has been running me ragged, uh, haggard lately. I forgot what day it was like four times this week. <laughs> Stone. No, I'm serious. I I, I was uh, I was uh, you know, working, and then suddenly my uh daughter's mom calls me and says hey remember her volleyball games today and i'm like wait i thought that was on actually then you would have already missed it and i'm like oh all right i'll be there i'll, I'll, I'll you know i'll get there as soon as i can <laughs> it's called old age man but it was just like i couldn't even remember what day it was no, it's the fact that I was working. Uh, I've been. I have not had a day, uh, work week that has been less than sixty hours in over a month. I literally worked over a hundred hours of overtime in the last month. That's why I was already able to buy a new t a new laptop. Last time I got one stolen, it took me almost a year to save up for it. This time I've been working so much overtime that I was able to literally buy it with a single paycheck. <laughs> That's nice. Oh yeah, today I heard that the farmers, uh, yeah, in California, are moving to Mexico in order to find labor because there's no more people in California willing to work the farms. Moving to Mexico, they're looking to Mexico. To, they're, they're literally asking the federal government to allow people to come here illegally so to work the farms work visas yeah but no there what i'm hearing is that that you know that's even is no no help so they're right. actually selling their farms in california and buying farms in mexico I haven't heard that i just don't see the mexican government allowing that too much they're not allowing a no. lot of ex uh you know, Americans to buy land down there. 
the outsourcing yeah Quite literally that's, that's, there's a lot common. of people in mexico that are just tired of americans moving down there it's really funny what did you uh read that at bird because i Sorry. didn't hear anything like that youtube channel nick johnson who his name is nick johnson he uh he specializes in um, like he, he goes to different states and neighborhoods and cities and um, tries to get like what's going on, like the real, real world status. All right. See you, Sci-Fi. Later. So the guy actually talks to people and not just uh, repeats what he hears, like a parrot, like a like crowder, like a parrot. Seems to be doing a pretty good job of it, best I can tell. I might check out a couple. Of his, I'll, I'll check them out then. I don't think you're gonna like them. Oh, he only talks to certain people then. Okay. No, he talks to everybody. I just yeah. don't think you're going to like him. I could be wrong. I mean, okay, if he talks to everybody and not to certain people, then yeah, I'll check him out if he talks to everybody. But if he talks to certain demographic people, like, no, what's the point? <laughs> oh, crap, Pickles is in the chat. <laughs> Hashtag Look Florida Man. Up. Hashtag Florida Man. Good morning, LVG. Yeah, with the uh, LDG around, I always want to play a game that uh, we used to play called Germany or Florida, <laughs> where you pull up a news article and you read it aloud and you ask people where it took place, Germany or Florida. Okay, I got one for you. Drunken man found asleep on horse. Florida or Germany? Well, that's not a, that's not enough information. Germany. Correct. <laughs> not a whole lot of horses in Florida. Yeah, I know. Uh, let's see. Man arrested at airport for carrying a suitcase full of endangered animals. Snakes in suitcases? I'll do it. Florida or Germany? Yeah, I could go either way. I'd say Florida. Florida. Uh, Germany. <laughs> I was trying to look up something, but I can't do anything right now. I got I really oh. got to finish setting up this computer. Yeah, I thought it was Sunday today. And of Not course my son Saturday. is like, "You got to down Remember you got to download all the FNAF games for me again because he likes playing FNAF on my computer." Oh, what? Uh FNAF Five Nights at Freddy. Oh, okay. I'm like, what is FNAF? I never played the game, so I never even bothered with seeing the movie. I don't play the games, but uh, Caddy got into FNAF when she was younger, and we used to watch uh, YouTube videos about, you know, the lore theories and stuff like that about them. 
and I kind of liked the, that aspect of it, even though I never bothered playing the games, and I did enjoy the film. I thought the film was really fun for what it was. Is Five Nights at Freddy's supposed to be like some kind of haunted Chuck E. Cheese wannabe? But of course, I also like the Banana Splits movie and uh, Billy's Wonderland. Have you seen Civil War? Kind of, yeah. No, have you seen Civil War? Have I seen Civil War? Yes. The new thing? Or are you talking about like uh, the, the, Captain America? The new, mo the new movie, Civil War. No. California and Texas uh, are allies and friendly nations. Oh, I, I've heard about that. And yeah, there's a lot of people that are confused about that. And I'm like, why would it? People don't realize both of them used to be part of Mexico. Both of them part, mm -hmm. were part of New Spain. Both of them are the only two states that were their own countries, even though Texas was only its own country for like two months and California was only its own country for two weeks, but still. <laughs> yeah. uh, California. <laughs> they, they make the most, they're the two the states that make the most money. They're the two states that make the most oil, mm -hmm. or at least produce. Oh, I take it back. California has dropped, I think, the fifth at this point for oil production, but we're still up there. Uh, we're the two states that have the most diverse climates. So, yeah, I can easily see those two states getting along, even though ideologically they don't do on a lot of things right now. But in the future, I could easily see them getting along. You were roboting a second ago. I don't know why. Oh. I haven't moved. But, uh, oh. Well, Civil War is actually a pretty good movie. Interesting take. But it's kind of it's kind of like how uh, even though Arizona is next to California, it's more like Texas, and even though New oh, Mexico yeah. is next next to Texas, it's more like California. Yeah, I grew up in Arizona. <laughs> I know what it's like. <laughs> oh, hated it. Oh, the Phoenix has changed so much in 30 years. Then they got a hockey team. Now they're losing the hockey team. <laughs> well, I'm actually thinking about taking the kids and, and Mrs. Vile out to uh, the Grand Canyon this uh, summer, if I can m manage it. You going to and the then, northern, uh, rim? northern Rim or Southern Rim? Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, I think me and uh, Caddy, we've been to the Grand Canyon twice, and uh, both times we went to the Southern Rim. So maybe we'll go to the Northern. I don't know. Yeah, I went to the Northern Rim. Southern Rim is where it's all at. Yeah, the I, I, Northern Rim. I went from Vegas. We went to the Northern Rim, not the Southern mm -hmm. one. So. <laughs> We'd be better off going to Southern Rim for a third time yeah. than the Northern. Northern is nice. It's it's, it's a little touristy, but Southern's supposed to have a better view. Well, I, I just remember last time I went, uh, we went on you know a guided tour thing, mm -hmm. and they had this one rock that juts out uh, over the lip of the canyon, and you know, the tour guide is like, if you want, you can actually lay down on the rock and look down into the canyon. And I was like, I'll do it. And Caddy freaked the fuck out because she was like, <laughs> Dad, you're too fat. You'll break the rock. <laughs> <laughs> and she was so scared I was going to fall into the canyon. It was so funny. But I still did it. <laughs> you fell? <laughs> But yeah, we we used to go to Texas all the time, so we'd hit the Grand Canyon sometimes on our way back. The only thing worth to, uh, in Texas is a Whataburger. The only thing worth going to Texas for is a Whataburger. 
Oh, I, I am not kidding. Uh, when I've gone to Texas by myself, Caddy has demanded that on my way back, I stop at the last Whataburger before California to get her a burger, even if it's going to be a day or two old by the time I get it to her. That is how you get a funny look from the uh, cashier. When you say, give me a Whataburger, please. You say Whataburger. Come on. <laughs> I said Whataburger. Yeah, you pronounce it Whataburger. No, Whataburger. It's Whataburger. <laughs> That's it's not Whataburger. They don't say it that way. <laughs> they did when I was growing up. Well, every time I've been there, it's always been a, you, you say, it's not what a burger, it's what a burger. Yeah, I always say water burger. They probably water were water. like, oh, he's a tourist. <laughs> <laughs> or if you pronounce it what a, yeah. Oh, I need a fresh bowl. Oh, laundry done. Weed ordered. You already got a pastry. Yep. You're set for today. <sighs> Whereas I'm going to do the stream for maybe maybe another hour. I don't know. Then I'm going to uh, set up the computer the way I need it to set up because this is my one day off the entire <laughs> week. Yeah, uh, Anonzo's Bigger Furt, we're going to be doing ranking tonight. We're going to be ranking best movies to watch while stoned since it's 420. Uh, I do. I, I would say if you're going to do an honorable mention for one of the worst movies to watch while stoned, it has to be The Ring. No, we're doing best. Like uh, Up in Smoke, Dude, Where's My Car, Hot Tub Time Machine. You know, the class movies that stoned us watch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Friday, what yeah. Just, CBD, well, I, yeah. I'm just telling you, uh, the reason I'd say it's one of the worst Harold ones is because... Yes. All three of them on the list. When... Uh, my cousin and I were watching The Ring. He was stoned off his ass. And when uh, Samara came out of the TV in the movie, he freaked the fuck out. Oh, my gosh. Bad weed. <laughs> well, yeah, he wasn't really stoned on weed, but oh, okay. same thing. <laughs> yeah, anyone want to check it out, check it out. Like 50 different movies on there. When I was making the list, I'm like typing, typing, typing. I'm like, okay, I got about 40 here. Where's 10 more? Awkward silence. If I did not hit mute, it would not be awkward silence. You would have heard me coughing. So what else is new with you guys? What's new in Florida? What has that fabulous governor of yours been up to? I'm sorry. You're talking to me? Florida? Florida's okay, man. They stay for a few days. Oh, not much going on. It's not true. You've got big news that's been going on. A chance to tell people. What are you talking about? You're pregnant. I'm oh, sorry. I swallowed it. The flipping hell are you talking they about? They don't know. You know, your, your, your latest business ventures and whatnot. Ah, my latest business ventures aren't public news. Yeah, he's dealing some illicit stuff like uh, weed, acid, you know, the, the other stuff, Florida. It's Florida. Uh, oh, I, I thought you were them. saying like he opened his own massage parlor and he's been massage, massaging people. Where you have yeah. the <laughs> Okay, sorry. Sorry to bring it up. It's, it's uh it's he, actually, does have, it's, it's, I, he does have the garage space i've been to his house <laughs> it's actually a, a really interesting idea it's a it's uh what do you call that um 
self-service massage parlor. Um, it's a great hit. I don't have to pay for any kind of work because you you basically go there and you got to massage yourself. Free happy endings. Well, there was a uh, – the reason I was making a joke about that is I saw a sign from Florida that said uh, uh, full body massage includes head, $20. <laughs> that's not gonna get taken the wrong way i'm sure <laughs> boots head can't get the head i just want the head we got everything else <laughs> oh i need new screens damn it you need a new what uh, screen for my pipe. Oh, I thought you were talking about something else. Nah. It's all crapped up with resin. I gotta check something real quick. Yep, I, I just realized I made a mistake in my title for the stream. Your number? No, the number is correct. The colon is in the wrong spot. Oh, after 98, after the 8, gotcha. Yeah, it's supposed to be after the uh, the 8. Well, and, and considering uh, it's at 198, what should I do for episode 200? Get the... Well, definitely getting the uh, title right. That, that, that should be one thing you do. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Well, Got another chip nerd. Uh, we we, all, we all know that you you like a properly placed colon, uh, LDG. I have an idea what you can do for your two hundredth. What? Uh, since this would be your two hundredth episode. A giveaway, uh, something off your eBay store that's two dollars or less for free for a winner. <laughs> that you selling for two dollars or less? I know you, you got know something what, in I, store. What I, what I might end up doing is, uh, depending on if I can get how much time off I can get, uh, might finally do the uh, uh, the grab bag boxes, do auctions for those, like a ah. single uh, single day auction. I might just do those, see how much we can get for those, because each of those boxes has like uh, over a hundred dollars worth of stuff in there. I'll bet a dollar. <laughs> if it sells for less than a or a, a dollar, Elihu, I would smack you. <laughs> okay, a dollar and ten cents. the uh, the on, The only problem I would have is if anyone out of the country tries to buy them, the shipping will be way too much for them. Ouch. I mean, they are, uh, they're already pre-packaged in uh, medium flat rate boxes, but even those cost like 20, 25 bucks to ship now. Yeah, it cost, I know this, that it costs uh, $45 to ship a three by five box to Australia that weighs less than one pound. I know that for a fact. No. Why is it when I look up uh, medium flat rate boxes, the first thing that comes up is not the USPS, but uh, stamps.com? Stamps is part of the postal service. Yeah, but it's not what I was looking for. Oh. Uh, what search engine are you using? Google. Oh, that's figured. Go to Duck, Duck, Go. Or you can just uh, always ask Jeeves. Jeeves knows. Oh, hey, Bird. I noticed something new on uh, no. on uh, 
a Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it now, mm -hmm. on my on my on my on my feed, I can now contribute to community notes. <laughs> I had no idea what that even means. When somebody mm -hmm. posts raw some false information, they can get out a corrective by community notes. They can put links and actually correct information on it and correct it. Because uh, in the past, people are doing that and getting a million impressions. Nobody wants to, pay to for hear that. For your bullshit. Yeah, nobody wants to hear bullshit. Basically, right. you got a community note attached to it. You get a million posts. You're getting paid for that. It's stopping people from getting uh, paid for posting false information on Twitter. Nobody gives a shit. Yeah. No, I think I like the community notes aspect, but I'm tired of uh, people. Uh, well, uh, not people. A certain individual who uh, doesn't like the fact that it exists on his uh, on Twitter. That's because it's really uh, funny when a certain uh, person is getting hit with community notes on his own app. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that is funny. <laughs> Hell, I just live nine blocks from the office. <laughs> nice 10 minute walk down there. Well, not a nice walk down there, just 10 minutes. I gotta go through a bad part of black town. And nope. No other news. Damn it. Yeah, all the news is saying is, yeah, 420 city organization canceled. Like, yeah, we get that. What else is on the news? Oh, yeah. I swear, local news around here is just pot-oriented this morning. <laughs> I'm shocked. And too bad uh, Mayor London Breed is out of town. Otherwise, she'd be celebrating 420 here. I don't think she can smoke in China. <laughs> I know Kamala is having a uh, enjoying her 420, Miss Vice President. <laughs> Why is it all quiet all of a sudden? Because I'm trying to look something up, but it's being a pain in the ass. What exactly are you searching for? I'm trying to figure out how much it costs to send a freaking flat rate box now. To where? It's a flat rate box. It costs the same no matter what. Okay. How much does a flat rate box cost of the U.S. Postal Service? Here's information from Shippo. Uh, medium, eighteen forty. Large, twenty four seventy five. The twenty bucks. Oh fuck! I I realize why I'm having such issues doing searches. Because the new computer isn't set up the way I wanted it to. I actually haven't been using Google. I've been using Bing. <laughs> God, well, Bing sucks. I found your answer, dude. Medium 1840, large 20 to 25 bucks. All right, that means through eBay it'll cost me like 16 something to send it to there's anyone your, in the US. Yeah, there's your answer. <laughs> Cuz I I save about 15% on all shipping uh, costs would ship through the USPS on eBay. So and yes, that's one of the reasons I'm going to continue using USPS instead of FedEx or UPS on most things. That's why I like my Google Assistant. See, watch, listen. What's my name? Wait, hang on. What is my name? Your name is Idiot. <laughs> 
I thought I was going to say something else, and I, I was just waiting for it to say, like, your, your name is Elihu, but you keep telling me to call you Mac Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something simple. <laughs> okay, how do you want the Google to address you? My name is Idiot. <laughs> It's like, uh, because of I've been using the Vile Mike name and uh, email for so long that when I use it to sign up for certain apps, it literally not, it literally assumes that my name is Mike Vile. <laughs> so I'll go somewhere and like McDonald's and I'll order something it's like food for something for my family. And they'll be like, order for Vile? Is there a Mr. Vile here? <laughs> <laughs> Or I've even had people like, I, I think it's pronounced Vile. <laughs> they they're like, it can't really be vile. Mike Vile. <laughs> you know, like Bubile. It's not bubble, it's Bubile. <laughs> it's like, is there supposed to be an accent over the E? Yeah, like go to Starbucks and tell them your your last name is uh, is Rismus. Your first name is Merrick. <laughs> well, you know, one thing that's kind of funny. Uh, one of my daughter's friends' moms, her name is actually is Mary, but it's spelled like Merry Christmas. <laughs> so it's M E R R Y. <laughs> Interesting parents. <laughs> Well, it can't be even worse than my parents. I mean, my uh, I've mentioned before that my uh, first name is actually Stephen. Mm -hmm. So my grandfather is Steve Sr. My dad was Steve Jr. My brother is Stephen with a V. I'm Stephen with a PH. And, of course, Caddy's real name is Stephanie. Yeah, I have my father's exact name. My grandfather is the exact name. My great father has my first name and his middle name and middle name his first name inverted. I'm the third, not the fourth. And then both the biological kids share their middle names with their mom's middle names. So Technically, I have a female's middle name. Not very original, <clears throat> I'm afraid. Yeah, the way my middle name is spelled, it's female, not male. <laughs> what does it matter? Yeah, people who don't uh, speak Spanish don't get it. <laughs> yeah, if you read, if you speak and read Spanish, and you see my middle name, like, really? You're like, yeah. <laughs> Well, it can't be any worse than uh, uh, one of my kids went to school with a boy named Elizabeth. Yeah, well, at least you didn't call your kid Sue. I got a boy named Sue. Well, remember, in that story, the boy named Sue grew up to be a badass. That was yeah, the whole point. <laughs> All right, so what else you guys want to talk, talk about? For All Mankind is getting a, uh, a new season. New season of what? For All Mankind. Has it come Are out you yet? Looking forward? Not yet. I forgot one of the drops. Bird, do you know? Bird. He might be AFK right now. Ah. 
You should put J F K. Okay. To the Google Mobile. <laughs> That's what I'm going to. And I'm actually going to Google this time because Bing sucks. <laughs> Bing. Yeah, I saw a post and it, uh, it said, Hi, Bob. Season five. <laughs> Sticking to Bob, where is MB Geek? I heard they're doing some sort of spin off too. Yeah. Uh, uh, the Russians. Uh, from the uh, base, uh, the Mars colony or Luna colony is supposed to be uh, one of those colonies. I forgot which one. But it's supposed to be primarily focused on the Russians. Something that nice. Yeah, I forgot if it was uh, the moon or Mars. They couldn't do it off. And your computer is slow, Mike. Why? You usually come up with the uh, results. Oh, it does. It doesn't. It just says that it was. Uh, uh, they haven't done anything about it yet. Oh, no release date. No, it. Uh, they didn't even say that the fifth season was going to come out till this month. They said it was confirmed that they were. Gonna, it got renewed for a fifth season in April of two thousand four. Sorry, twenty twenty four. My bad. <laughs> this is April of twenty twenty four. I know. That's what I'm telling you. So it's only they haven't done anything for it yet. Ah. So it it'll probably Robotic. be at least eight to nine months before anything happens. I am not a bot. You're a row. We'll be lucky if we see it in 2025. We're certainly not going to see it. In 2024. Oh, no, no. Yeah. I seriously would doubt it. But yeah, they did say something about uh, <clears throat> Star City. A uh, spinoff focusing on the Soviet space program. Uh, Star City is the uh, the what they call it on the ground. I thought it was, yeah, I thought it was going to be That's focused on one of the bases. Sorry, not the moon. Sorry, but I knew it was going to be Russian folk centered. But okay, thank you. If it is, they're going to have have uh, some of the same characters as cameos or. Just continuation of some of the same characters or new characters. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Where are the usual weirdos? NB, Dandelion. Dr. Well, they may not have seen that I was streaming because I didn't stream last week and they just didn't see the notification. <clears throat> oh. I'm not going to complain, you know. When I my streaming schedule has been fucked up lately because of the whole work schedule. <clears throat> I don't even know how many hours I have next week until tomorrow. Uh, so that's why I got to start on Sundays now. Mm. Working six days a week sucks. Work? What's that? Remind me to cram a two by four up your ass. <laughs> Sorry, I, I meant that in the most sweetest, kindest, friendliest way possible. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hell, I have not posted anything to the eBay store in like two weeks because of this. <laughs> I'm surprised my sales haven't dropped off. They haven't? Not really. I'm still selling the same amount of stuff, you know, the same number of items each week. Oh. Maybe not the same value of items. <clears throat> but, 
it's weird what sells and what doesn't because lately for the last two weeks most of the stuff that's sold is xbox one and vhs tapes <laughs> people still have a vcr wow uh well maybe not they don't they're just buying it for the collector value i don't know oh well okay i only have one vhs and that is double dragon I don't know if I were, were uh, if I still have a whole bunch of VHS tapes. I mean, I mean, I have a v bunch of VHS tapes, but they're all on the eBay store. I have that for one. Personally. I had that for one reason. If I ever get a chance to meet Alyssa Milano, that's the one thing I'm gonna have an autograph. <laughs> uh, I don't care about no record, no 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 picture. Like no VHS. You're not even on the cover. Your name's not even mentioned on the cover. Can you please autograph this? <laughs> Why? Because that was her great short, short, short moment of her bending over. <laughs> Wasn't she like 16? I was, six, I was 16. I was actually, I was 15 when that came out too. Yeah, well, it's still kind of creepy now. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, she was my first celebrity it's, crush. It, huh? It's okay. If, if you were that age, when they were that age, it's safe. Yeah, she's one year older than me. It's like Winnie Cooper when I was 12, okay? Is it strange that I didn't think I didn't have like a celebrity crush on her until after she got her degree in mathematics? I still found her attractive as a kid anyway. She was Winnie fucking Cooper. <laughs> ow, ow. I need more coffee. Yeah, God, I'm I'm now looking at a bunch of uh, articles. Yeah, for all mankind was only renewed like three or four days ago. What? My headphones are off. I, I couldn't hear you. I said for all mankind was only actually renewed like three or four days ago. Oh, oh. Huh. So yeah, it, it's been like almost two months after the end of this uh, season four, and that they, they didn't have a renewed contract yet. Well, I'm glad I got a season. It's getting a season five. Is it? Did, did they read um, if it's going to be the final season or if it's just uh, a new season renewed? They haven't said anything yet. Gotcha. Although apparently one of the creators said they had enough stuff for six seasons planned. Oh, nice. <sighs> So season five should take a place about the year 2000. No, it should take place in like 2020s, uh, the, uh, the 20 teens. Sorry, uh, 20 teens. And season six should take place in modern times. Pretty much. By, by, but I have a feeling by yeah. the time it comes out, it'll be 2030. <laughs> <laughs> And I really, I, I can't really do anything right now with the computer because uh, of the live stream. It's like everything I need to update requires so much bandwidth <laughs> that I'll, I'll be roboting way too bad. And I'm already doing that. Well, just every once in a while, you, we hear you turn into a uh, bender. Well, that's because uh, certain things are being updated in the background, but it's just like Windows updates and stuff like that. Why don't you turn those off when you live stream? Uh, because I haven't turned them off yet. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, just because I bought this thing last week doesn't mean I've cracked it open more than half a dozen times. <laughs> gotcha. What I thought was funny is uh, Windows was like, oh, would you like to uh, uh, restore from your previous computer? And I was like, sure, let's do that. Let's, let's see if I can get everything back. And nothing came back. Not my pictures, not all the uh, videos I was working on. And I'm like, what was the point of doing a backup if nothing got saved? It's like, not now, paperclip. Let's see. What? Let's see. Let me. Have you seen the latest episode of uh, SCD? Of what? Star Trek Discovery. Nope. As I said, the only thing I've watched all for the last two weeks has been Gotham. Ah. I know Bird has. Any, uh, would you say it was good or bad, Bird? I don't Let's think see. he's there. Yeah. Let's see. What might I want to watch? Oh, I haven't watched it yet, but I do want to see the X-Men 97. You haven't seen the last episode yet? I haven't seen anything yet. I probably oh. want to re-watch uh, the old X-Men show first. Uh, just watch, you don't have to watch all five seasons. Uh, just uh, watch Eric Voss's recap on it. It gives a great, I he like gives a great recap. the whole thing. Okay. He does give a good take on it. Well, let's check uh, Rotten Tomatoes. What do they recommend to watch for 2024? <laughs> let's see. <clears throat> Converse uh, Godzilla. Masters of the Air, which I started to watch, but I haven't finished yet. Oh, Mr. Yeah. and Mrs. Smith. That was good. Uh, the Brothers, Son, and Griselda. No, watch Donald Glover. Come on, Mr. Smith. Uh, Shogun on FX. Slow start. Uh, American Nightmare. Uh, it's kind of like American History X. Uh, Mary I'm and George. X, sorry. Um, Mary and who? Mary and George. That I've never heard. Uh, body irreverent and ruled by Julianne Moore in top form. Mary and George is a regal treat for fans of frothy court intrigue. Okay. Law and order. <laughs> uh, the tourist. That sounds familiar. Uh, we were the lucky ones. I haven't seen that yet. Fallout season one, which of course I'll be watching, but not yet. That was good. Uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm season 12. I didn't know that show was still on the air. I've never seen season one. I think Bird just burped and he's awake. Excuse me, that's me. Oh. <laughs> God, I haven't seen Kirby and Th Enthusiasm since like season <clears throat> one or two or three. I've never seen Sorry, I'm busy with Nephew on Friday. Oh, Charlie's problem. No problem. Try a priority. Uh, True Detective Night Country. 
Uh, Elsbeth. Don't know what that is. Uh, it's a spinoff from uh, The Good Wife. What's The Good Wife? It's a TV show. Oh, okay. Uh, Steve, a documentary in two pieces. It's a documentary about Steve Martin. Mm -hmm. uh, one Day, what well, looks like a uh, rom-com show thing. Uh, a Gentleman in Moscow. I heard that was funny. A uh, criminal record. A lot of these I haven't even heard of. The Sympathizer. <laughs> Never heard of it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Manhunt. Is that like Renegade? Uh, it says, dramatizing a flashpoint in American history with hot-blooded performances and contemporary resonance, Manhunt transcends the trappings of Wax Museum recreation to deliver addicting entertainment. So, I have no idea what that even means. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've never heard most of these shows, man. Oops, excuse me. Ripley limited series. <laughs> to me, that sounds like something that would be a alien remake of Aliens, but apparently it's not. Yeah, that's what I thought. The completely made up adventures of Dick Turpin. Yes. Uh, apparently, it's been compared to uh, Monty Python, so that yes. might be fun to watch. <laughs> trying to I'm gonna see if there's anything else on this list because this is all you know it's rotten tomatoes so they're just recommending anything that's considered certified fresh so far oh three body problem that is one that I do want to watch that was very good I'm waiting for season two oh here's one that my kids have been trying to get me to watch has been hotel mm -hmm. all of my kids all four of them agree that they want me to watch that thing what is it about uh, it's basically a animated musical that takes place in hell where people stay at a certain hotel to, until they can pass on to heaven. And uh, it's got like a bunch of actors that they like. <clears throat> Plus it has Keith David in it. I mean, friggin' the Keith D David. I mean, yeah, <laughs> how they okay. got him on there, I have no idea. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm sold. What's it called again? Has Been Hotel. Has Been Hotel. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit, nice cover. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll put it on my watch list. I, I've seen this. I've seen this. So, but those are the only ones that I, like, most of these I haven't heard of, but. Let me go to my little movie thing here and put it on my watch list. One second. Where's my tab? Do, 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 do. Where the hell is it? Where the hell is my damn movie tab? Uh, one moment. Turn on movie tab real fast. Where the hell is it? Do, 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 do. Not yarn. Damn it. <laughs> and how you doing, you bet? <clears throat> Hey, there she is. Hey, Yvette. How are things across the pond? Uh. Okay, I gotta minimize some of this shit. Damn it. I gotta get better. I gotta bookmark my uh, movie tabs better. 
You know, it's funny. I don't bookmark stuff. I, I, op I have a text document that I keep everything on. That's how old school I am, Elihu. Damn. It's like a notepad, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's on my watch list. I thought I'd give this a shot. I picked up, uh, and I, you know, one of those cigars that's actually rolled in just a giant tobacco leaf. We'll see how good that is. Sorry, I couldn't see it. What? It's it's basically a cigar that's just wrapped in a giant tobacco leaf. Ah. So, surprisingly, it has almost no flavor. I'm surprised your kid hasn't mentioned this old TV show, old cartoon called She's Out. What? Called She's Out. S H E Z O W. It's a uh, adventure of a boy bonded to a magic ring that turns him into a female superhero. It's from 2012. <laughs> nope, haven't heard about it. This came off my odd watch. Wait, list is right it here. like a Japanese anime where the it's a? No, it's United States, Australia, Canada. There was one that I remember a while back. It was basically. Uh, uh, a play on the uh, Japanese magical girl transformation thing, like Sailor Moon type stuff, where the little girl transforms into a very muscular guy who's still dressed as a princess when he, when she transforms. There's a new cartoon that you might like. It's called The Secret Score. Uh, Maya and her friends discover a magical music score granting them powers to keep a secret while someone with dark motives searches for it. Uh, Mexico. Nope. Never heard of it. Huh. It's a new show. Oh. <laughs> Uh, what else is there? Utopia. Yeah. Um, not, not dead, it's not not dead very yet. Good. Like, despite it being like pure tobacco, there's no flavor to it. Like, really? It's flavor from a freaking Marlboro. Huh. It doesn't even taste like tobacco. It's weird. What does it taste like? I don't know. You're a cigar smoker. You can't describe it. Well, you smoke the cigarillos. Never mind. It's not those cigars. Yeah, I, I smoke shit cigar uh, cigars. So, the, trying to smoke something that's half decent is, or at least supposed to be half decent. Is it like smoking a wet cigarette with no flavor? Kind of. Yeah. Like. Okay. The, okay. It's like smoking a uh, a. Uh, a regular cigar or a cigarette that's got a really big filter on it, despite the fact that there literally is no filter on this. <laughs> Maybe it's rolled too tight. Look at it. It's not rolled tight at all. Oh, shit. Damn. Where'd you get that? Uh, when I was uh, covering one of the stores up in Los Angeles a couple weeks ago, uh, the Walmart was parked in, or the Walmart. The Walmart was in a parking lot that had a smoke shop and they were going out of business. Uh, well, they weren't really going out of business. They were moving from that location to another location uh, and decided that instead of moving the inventory, they would just sell it cheap. Oh, surplus. Yeah. So I got a cup. I, I got a couple of these for like a buck a piece. They're normally like $12 cigars. Oh, <laughs> nice. But yeah, get, get, you, you get what you pay for. The thing is, it does. I thought maybe it would taste old or something because 
you know, they were selling it that cheap, but no, this is a, like a fresh cigar. It should have the, it doesn't, it doesn't smoke old. It doesn't smoke like it's too dry. Was it stored in a humidifier or just uh, on the shelf? Uh, aluminum wrap. Sorry, not aluminum, foil wrapped. Oh, huh. Try to cut the flavor in. Oh, you got a bad cigar. You got a bad stogie, dude. Face it. You know what I think this would be good in, though? Maybe I'll save the other ones for when I'm down in Mexico because uh, I still got a bottle of brandy down there. And I bet these would be good if I dipped them in uh, the brandy, soaked yeah. up that. Maybe that. that's what they're supposed to be for. Yeah, I'm otherwise just texting you, me right now. You got a bad stogie. Well, it's not bad per se. It's just not flavorful. All right, what else should we talk about before uh, I end the stream? Uh, well, I did mention that a uh, high probability of a uh, Nova appearing in the night sky and the day sky. Okay, are they, when you said that, I actually was going to ask you about that. Do they think that it uh, erupted 3,000 years ago or do they think they erupted now and we've got to wait 3,000 years? No, a couple thousand years ago. Okay. Uh, why do they think it erupted 3,000 years ago? Uh, because of the way the White Dwarf interacted. And it basically surged brightly, then all of a sudden just dimmed. Which meant that it was getting eaten up and about to explode. Okay. So there's it, a high probability that's going to happen this on. year. Is it binary with a black hole? Is that what they think? No, no, it's just going to blow up. No black hole. Okay, so they're assuming at that point either ex it expanded and dimmed or it uh, maybe it collapsed and dimmed? Collided into it, which makes it an explosion, which makes it a nova. Okay, but what... Uh, okay, I'm confused now. What do they think hit it? Each other. Okay, so a, a it's white a binary dwarf, are, system. You, yes, uh, it's a binary system. A white dwarf orbiting a red giant. Okay. So when I said binary, other. you said no, but I, granted, Sorry. I said binary of the black hole, but still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they collided. So it's called a nova. And a high, high probability that it will be seen in the night sky and day sky. We don't got to worry about when it. When you say cameras, high do we? probability, you mean like 0.01%? No, about 90. They're saying about 90%. You honestly expect me to believe somebody yeah. is saying there's a 90% chance there's a supernova. No. We're going I, to see. A nova. Several, a nova. Scien several scientists have actually confirmed this. They're agreeing with the statements. Yes. It's a high probability, about 90%, yeah. that we're going to see a Nova this year. Are these the same scientists who say that, uh, you know, humans are doing... Humans are uh, changing the... Uh, are you, are you going to finish that? Climate change. Climate change. No, these are no, these are astrophysicists and cosmologists. Yeah, yeah and we're it's a different branch of science. It's yeah. one's meteorological and the other one is uh, astrophysics. So they have no opinion on climate change. 
Well, everybody has an opinion on climate change, but these guys yeah. don't uh, specialize or uh, make their opinions uh, as part of their doctrine. No, they don't. <laughs> yeah, these people I will actually listen to. Tell me where the hell is my scrape? Ah. Okay, that's no. What merch tweeting? <clears throat> no, uh, the computer just told me that battery low, switching to super battery, and I'm like, I didn't know this thing had an extra battery. Super battery? <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what that means. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> So like a super screen or a super keyboard. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of odd. MB is not even up here. I haven't even seen him. Huh. Well, he met, he did message me on uh, Twitter this week. I did tell him I bought a new computer, but I didn't say I was streaming. Because I didn't know if I actually was or not. I, uh, I decided to work uh, 14 hours yesterday just so I wouldn't have to work today. <laughs> and that was with taking several hours off in between uh, the day so I could spend time with the kids. Oh. What? Something was sticking to my cup. Coffee? No. Uh, the mug, despite the fact that I've washed this mug, uh, part of the pr uh, original price tag is still stuck to it. And each time it something a little bit peels off, it leaves a little bit of the sticky res. Excuse me, residue. Oh. So I had like loose fuzz sticking to my cup and it was jutting out like uh, a spider leg or something. It looked weird. <laughs> oh, speaking of uh, movies uh, earlier, sorry. A uh, TV shows. Alien, there's a new TV show. Alien uh, takes place 30 years before the events of the original Alien movie is coming out. Uh, that only matters to me depending on who's producing it. Uh, let's see. Let me click on the link. Because if Ridley Scott is involved, I probably won't enjoy it right now. It. I can't. I don't know. What does it say? But there's a new Alien show, and Disney is making a movie, another movie based on a ride. They were successful with Pirates of the Caribbean. Now they're going to try Space Mountain. Good luck with that. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, first ever TV show in the Alien universe in development on FX for FX on Hulu. Do 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 do. And yeah, you're right. It's Disney that's working on it, but um, who's attached to it? Yeah, I couldn't find out. The I... tentative title is Alien Romulus. And it is said to happen between the first and second movies. Oh, I thought it was 30 years before. About the Whaling and it's based, Alien Corporation. And it's based on, hold on, it's based on ideas that were the basis for Alien 3. Huh. So I get a watch. 
It probably won't come out till next year, though. Oh, are you still on Rotten Tomatoes? No, I went to another site. This is, uh, ironically, space.com. Oh. <laughs> if, he was on, uh, if he was still on Rotten Tomatoes, I wanted you to take a gander at the score for Ripple Moon Part 2. Is it out yet? Yeah. Oh, it's out. <laughs> All right, let's check out the score. <laughs> All right, Rebel, Rebel Moon Part One. Thank I haven't you. seen it yet. Wow, uh, audience score of fifty-seven, re, uh, re, critic reviews of twenty-one percent. Wow, it went up. It was seventeen last time I saw. <laughs> Okay, now check out part two. Part two, the scare giver. Or I'm sorry, scar giver. I scar -giver. mispronounced that. Uh is sitting at 18 for critics and 46 <laughs> for audience. If you have not seen Rebel Moon Part One, uh because you're supposed to see that before you see part two. If you've not seen part one. Don't even bother. That's the second oh. worst worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay. I'm like, Madam Webb was the first. This is the second. I'm like, what the hell is this crap? I couldn't even finish it. Seriously. Bad plot, bad dialogue, bad acting. You can tell that some parts are CGI. I'm like, that's obvious. Like, what the hell is this? Well, from what I understand, based on the script, it was supposed to be a Star Wars script, but things fell through, so they decided to make it a non-Star Wars Star Wars movie, and I guess it's not doing well. Plot sucked, bad acting, bad script, I'm like, come on. Well, I didn't no, even bother I him playing part two. It up because it's being compared to Dune 1 and 2. Parts one and two, so I'm gonna go back and watch Dune because I never watched that either. the 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 new one, not the old ones, of course. I've seen yeah. both of the uh, old ones. Yeah, Patrick Stewart was great in that. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen the new Dunes. Uh, I got it patched together, so it's five hours and twelve minutes total with both of them. So I'm gonna watch that sometime, probably later on uh, tonight or tomorrow. I haven't decided yet. But I got it. I got it edited so I don't see any credits, and just immediately goes to part two. <laughs> did you do it yourself, or is it something you downloaded? I did it myself. I, I scanned the movies. Like here's the credit starts. Cut up the credits. Boom. Okay, part two starts. So there's no end credits for part one. So it was one to two. <clears throat> I don't have to worry about fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. That's the way. That's the way a double sequel should be shown in the movie, part one and two. That's the way it should be shown in the movie. End credits for part one showed first, then end credits for part two showed second after part two is over. Yeah, my only problem with that is uh, it's kind of hard to hold your pee the entire time. <laughs> I remember going to uh, back when the MCU was extremely popular and theaters were doing, uh, you know, like marathon things double features yeah <laughs> uh they we were watching thor one thor two and i think it was uh uh avengers two together i can't remember I, I i'm i know it was thor one and two but i can't remember what the third movie was but it wasn't i know it wasn't thor three because it hadn't come out yet oh but uh uh, when we watched it, it was they decided to just play them one after another after another, and it sucked because you know we wanted to go get more co uh, more popcorn, more soda, we you know take a pee break, and there was like no chance to do that. <laughs> I mean, it was it was it was kind of ridiculous. We'd go right right from the end credit scene. To the next movie, yeah. No credits and no teasers, no nothing. Yeah, and that's the way a double feature should be, or part two. 
I, I'd rather have the brakes <laughs> cut in there so I can take a piss. Uh. Oh, uh, Alaya, do you see Yvette's comment? Yes. Okay. That's what I was trying to explain. All right. Thank you, Yvette. I'm going to go ahead and end the stream. But it looks like the new computer will work for streams, at least. So well, I'm, I'm going go to go to the... I'm going, to dispens I'm going to the dispensary after this. <laughs> I thought you already had enough weed to top you off for the day. Yeah, I got my order. It's four twenty sales, dude. It's twenty dollars for it's twenty dollars for half an ounce. Okay, I see. Yeah. Hello. All right. Well, let, let let's end it with uh, Brent Spiner. <laughs> Never saw the sun shining so bright. Never saw things going so right. Noticing the days hurrying by. When you're in love, my, how they fly. Oh, blue skies, smiling at me. Nothing but blue skies do I see. <laughs> all right uh later bird and thanks for i hate to see you stop by right as i'm ending the stream later Jordan. guys we'll see you next time oh, take it easy later weirdos <laughs>